Hello, Saw Dino, dude. Well, where am I? It's just a big forest. And there's a, is that, that's not a chicken. What is that? It's a pheasant. Okay, sounds like a chicken. Um, well then, can't remember much. I've been falling for a long time. I dropped most of these arrows. All I can remember is a name, Coast 110. There was something menacing about it. Huh, it should return to me. Wait, what's that? Let's go check it out. Maybe there's somebody who I can ask for help in this strange new world. Okay. Ah! There's that name. It says it's Coast 110. I don't want to face. Wait. He's friendly. Coast 110. Oh, it's coming back to me. I fought Coast 110. The Coast 110 I fought was evil. Terribly evil. This, this guy seems completely fine. I guess I can stay in here. He has two beds. At least we have a place to stay while we're here. But what is this place? There are animals here I've, ne I've never seen before. It's like... So many creatures. While we're stuck here, we might as well have something to do. I don't know. Let's, let's get a look around. See what this area is about. So, this biome seems similar, but it's much more decorated. There's a village. There are some people here. They just seem a bit more primitive than the people. Oh my god. What are those animals? They're kangaroos? Yeah, this is definitely not where I remember. Strange liquid. Village is kind of weird too. There are even butterflies. Everything about this world is completely different. So many animals, I wonder what we could do. I mean, I wonder. They seem out of place. Why would a kangaroo live in a savanna area? It would be in more of a hot and drier outback. We should rehome some of these animals. I have a plan. From this day forth, I will start building a grand safari park in this world. Okay, so here's the shelter of Coast 110. We know that already. Um, kind of gonna need my own area if I'm gonna be building this. Let's start by building something simple. Okay, so we got some wood. Let's just go and get some more.
about a half, a two and a half stacks of wood. When we wake up, we should be able to manage some of this. All right, so it seems like Post 110 has been doing some naturalist work. I'm not surprised, this area seems full of creatures and animals and things. So, let's start by crafting some very basic tools. How about axe? And a pickaxe. There are so many weird plants all over the place that I don't think I've seen anywhere before. By the way, I still have my elytra and some of my armor. And there's our first monster. Dried bamboo. And it's edible. Hmm, I, I might actually want to farm some of that. The tree we destroyed had bird eggs in it. Wow, there's so much crazy stuff in this new world that I never would have known of before. Let me grab some more just to eat. If we eat some of this uh, dried bamboo that grows, we can probably manage for a little while. Well, let's see. Here we can get some stone. I don't want to bore you guys either. So let's collect a bit of the stone. And put it together to create myself a pickaxe. Okay. This is going to be important in the future. get more and more efficient as we go on, but right now we're just starting out. I wonder if I'll ever find my way out of this crazy, animal-filled world. I'm still trying to make sense of what the heck happened. Ooh, iron. I remember that this is important, I think. Okay, so we've dug out some coal. Let's grab this last little vein of iron. So we got nine iron and 38 coal. That should be enough to start out with, although I'm still gonna grab more iron. measure. Let's just grab some more stone. Alright, there we go. Got everything we needed. So... So we've made it back to Coast 110's house. And let's start by crafting a furnace here. Just like that. Let's place it down. And if we put the coal and the iron in, yeah, there we go. We got some of it smelting. And while that's happening, I'm going to go start working on something that I used in the last series. But I think will be useful in the near future for this one.
have it finished. This right here is a building that I can use to store anything I may need. And you'll remember I used something similar to this in Minecraft Jurassic World. Every chest is going to be something different. Let's start this as being the egg chest. Let's start this as being the botanical chest. So yeah, that's how that is going to work. So we have one good thing done and we're ready for the next video. And what I noticed is that there are these bird nests laying everywhere around the world. And I think a good thing to start with in our Grand Safari Park is going to be something small. There, two cam. That would be something interesting. So let's just run around and take some of these eggs. Pea fowl. Liar bird. Seagull. Not really interested in the seagull. Heron sounds very interesting though. Don't stack on their own, which is kind of annoying. Of course, pheasant, but I'm just gonna like, kill it for me. Hopefully, I won't get salmonella from that. Penguin. Don't know what a penguin is doing here, but it works. Ferns over here. We've got Roadrunner. Cool. Here are two nests. Many more lyrebird eggs. I don't find it unlikely we're going to get a lyrebird. Three ostrich eggs. Oh, and those are little kiwis. I will not harm the kiwis, because I love the kiwis so much. Look at the kiwi! Parrots? Okay. Parrot eggs? There's an unidentified one. I'm going to hold off on the unidentified one until we have something to identify it. Flamingo. Sounds interesting. Hoping that the flamingo won't rob me, of course. Oh, that was close. I really nearly fell in there. This is a new biome. I wonder what's... Oh, wow. This is a very interesting biome. This is like an outback. Here's another nest with a seagull egg inside of it. And then over this way, there's some more. There's a nice ravine, so anytime we need a lot of stuff to mine, we can go there. Kingfisher eggs. Okay. Tons and tons of really good stuff here. But we're going to have to see what we're getting. <laughs> Alright, it looks simple, but it's a nice wooden cage that we can start hatching birds in. So when I wake up in the morning, let's take a look at these eggs. Oh, great new morning to test out these eggs. Now, let's decide which ones we are going to look at today. How about we take a look at stuff that could live in the biome we're currently standing in. Um, in that case, we'll be pulling out Lyrebird. Ostrich. And Flamingo. They all sound pretty fitting in the biome that we're currently in. On the way there, I'll grab myself some nice food to eat. I know how we're gonna plant this. Not a liar bird, but it's not okay. It'll follow us to see. Come this way, liar bird. No friends for it. No flamingos. And none ostrich. This little liar bird's gonna be by himself for a while. How 
thought we'd try the two can eggs. Nothing from those either. Well, Firebird, you're gonna be f by yourself for a while, but don't worry. I'm gonna get you into an enclosure as soon as I can. Okay, we gotta be careful coming down on this one. There's a creeper on the bottom. I'm gonna use my last few arrows to get this. I dropped so many on the way down. Alright, so we got a chest nice and full of bird eggs. And then this one's botanical. I'll add some more of these temple bells to it. That. Alright. So everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed. We're just getting started out in this world, but I plan on this being our longest modded survival series yet. We're going to have a lot of fun building a big, grand, huge safari park, and I'm glad that we got so far in the first episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more of our videos, and please leave us some support and spread the news. Thank you.